Hi, this is Eric Warren with Board Game Geek News. Going to be looking at Kobayakawa by Jun Sasaki, published by Oink Games in Japan, and now picked up by Superlude Editions in Yellow for publication in, in English and French, uh, debuting at the end of 2014. So this is a small box, tinier than my head, sort of uh, mouth-sized, but it's got some interesting gameplay in here. Uh, you open the box, you got uh, some rules, you have 15 cards, and a bag of awesome, glorious coins. But what's the game? Gameplay in Kabayakawa is super simple. You have a deck of cards from 1 to 15 with some super fancy graphic design. Leaves you a little open to a little interpretation of what the numbers are, but you look at them at the right angle, and they all make sense. Okay. Each player starts with four coins. You want to have the most coins at the end of the game in order to win. The game lasts seven rounds, and each round there's one coin up for grab and two coins as the prize in the seventh round. In addition to those that coin, other people might be betting coins as well. You're going to start the round by shuffling the deck. You give each player a card. You turn one card face up. Okay. And now, each person, in turn, they look at their card. Uh, let's see what we got here. I got a 7, I got a 15, I got an 8, just so you know. You don't normally do that when you play. Things are secret. You have to use your imagination for what other people might have. Try to reason out what they have. All right, anyway, on a turn, you either decide to take the card and flip it over in the center. Let's say I do that. Okay, that's my turn. That's all I do. Next player, uh, Mr. 15 here, he might decide to do the same. The next player, he might decide, I'm gonna draw a card. Now look at this. And I'm gonna keep one of them and I reveal the other one face up. Okay. Then each, that's it for the actions. Then each player decides whether they want to be in the round for a chance to win, or they want to be out. And to do that, you each take a coin and you secretly put it behind your hand and you either leave the coin if you want to be in the round, or of course you don't leave the coin if you don't. All right, whoever is in the round, they reveal their cards. Whoever has the lowest number revealed adds this center card to their score, and whoever has the highest number or sum wins all the coins bet in that round as well as the coin that's up for grabs. Okay. In the final round, you can bet up to two coins. There are two coins up to grab from the pot, and whoever has the most coins wins. And there's a wrap up of Kobayakawa, and like a number of small publications from Japan, a lot of minimal games with very few components, the game is all about bluffing and reading other people, trying to determine whether they have the numbers or not. Who's going to be low enough to get that center card, to add it, to possibly beat the high card? Who can, uh, who can have the high card? We're going to have. You know, it's a very simple round. You have one action, right? Change the middle card that gets added to the low number. Change your pocket card, possibly, unless you like your pocket card, all right? That's it for the decisions. And then you got the decision of who's going to be in, who's going to be out, what could someone possibly have. If someone discards a 14 on the table, you're pretty sure they got the 15. And then you have to see if that middle card actually helps you beat them. Okay, sometimes the decisions are sort of easy along those lines. And other times it's a lot more guessing. If you run out of coins, you're out of the game. So you don't want to guess too much, but the game itself is like 10, 15 minutes. So, hey, guess away. Lots of people go all in. All right, they, they throw in the two coins in the last round just on the off chance, maybe they, they're gonna get that jackpot, and often the game just turns to that final point. All right, again, that's kind of the nature of the game. It's a light bluffing game with uh, very awesome components.